Determination of pH of a non-solution using glass electrode. pH of a non-solution is determined by measuring the potential of a solution using glass electrode. Here, glass electrode is coupled with standard calum electrode which acts as a reference electrode. Both electrodes are dipped in a solution whose pH has to be determined and is connected to the voltmeter. Once it is connected to the voltmeter, the potential is measured and that potential is known as cell potential. So here the glass electrode acts as anode and sand calum electrode acts as cathode. The cell which is represented diagrammatically can also be represented as AG, AGCL which is the internal reference electrode of glass electrode. It's CL of 0.1 molar which is the internal reference solution and this is the glass membrane and this is test solution. This entire glass electrode is coupled with calum electrode. This is the salt bridge. Since calum electrode acts as cathode, reduction reaction occurs at the cathode. Reduction reaction means, so since we have dipped both electrodes in a solution of unknown pH, pH means the solution is acid, it contains H plus ions. The cathodic reaction is 2H plus plus 2 electrons gives rise to hydrogen. By knowing the calum electrode potential, glass electrode potential, pH of unknown solution can be determined as follows. We know very well the cell potential is given by E cathode minus E anode. As we discussed earlier, cathode here the above cell is calum electrode and anode is glass electrode. By substituting the potentials of cathode and anode, we get E cell equals E standard calum electrode potential minus E glass electrode potential. Glass electrode potential is given by E naught G minus 0 0.0591 pH. Here, standard calum electrode potential is constant, E naught G is constant. We are supposed to equate the equation for pH. By equating the equation for pH, we get pH equals E cell plus E naught G minus E SCE divided by 0 0.0591. E cell is determined, it is known. E naught G is a constant. E sand calum electrode is also constant. By substituting all these values, pH of a unknown solution is determined. Thank you.